morning. Thank you. Have a good day now. You Thank you. Carrie, you want something to drink or you're still good? Still for water. <laughs> Other video game stuff you're looking to get rid of? Uh, you know what? This would be perfect for the Xbox 360. Why did my mom let me sell it? And I can just check if we have any away games. After this, I'm sure. calling your mom. I need, I need to get some Xbox. Oh, this is a bunch of 360 games right here. Yeah, I was going to sell an Xbox 360. My mom wouldn't let me. You don't have like an old Game Boy or anything you're looking to get rid of, do you? He does. Wait, 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 wait. What's he? Um, Super Nintendo, Nintendo or an N64 or Sega or anything. Cool, there's a nice show. Oh, there it is. Any games for those systems? Can't wait that in Florida. We have games, but I don't know if my sister wants to get rid of it. Yeah, my family. I can like pull them out. Jason. J Bone. Great. Me, just gonna ask. You never know. <laughs> Or are you keeping that? Oh. Yeah, are you keeping it? Okay. I'll double check when my son comes out, but I think so. Couldn't find the nano, is what you said? I couldn't. Okay. Maybe next time at the yard table, I might have it with you. Have a couple times a year, but I just look right there. Mommy and Bola. Is he coming out with more games? Or? I don't know if those are just the games that he's yeah. playing. Okay. So, how much just for all of them? How much for all the games? That sounds fair. Okay. Alright, cool. I think we'll see American Cancer Society. You trying to get video game stuff? Yeah. The only stuff I have right now, I didn't even bring it out yet. I have a brand new NES Classic. If you're trying to get one of those, but you know, you can just get them in stores. Yeah, I, I sold I sold all my rare stuff when I was in Washington. I had an N64, an original NES, an SNES. Um, I had some pretty rare Japanese games for them too, which are kind of hard to get. But no, unfortunately, I don't have any video games. What about a Polaroid camera or an iPod? Uh, I do actually yeah. have an iPod. I didn't put it out yet. Yeah. Do you want to give me a second? Hold on one second. It's a small one. Yeah. Yeah. It's not hooked up to what I got. Yeah. 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 Perfect, but I'll tell you what I it works fine. 
Um, I can, I can, uh, I can, yeah, it's 20 bucks if you want it. It's got probably 500 songs on there. Yeah, what's it worth to you? Give me a number. If, if you're trying to get it. Three bucks, three dollars, let's do it. You know what it, you know what it is. Throw a charge on it, you got songs on there. I'll do three bucks on it. I know, that's a huge, everybody wants video games. I have so many people texting me and... You don't have, like, yeah, like, like Nintendo or Game Boy. Actually, we have this, my kids, but I don't know... Like, this is an Xbox 360. Yeah. But that's all I got. Uh, I don't know. Looking pretty rough. Yeah. <laughs> the kids say it works, but I don't know. I'm yeah. probably gonna... Yeah, I don't know. No idea. Yeah. Uh, but, take a look at that little white thing. Uh, this? Yeah. 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 So these are our brand new sheets, so I'm gonna do um eight dollars for the set. And then so eight nine dollars for everything. Controllers, dude. We sold it. Yeah, I had a couple, yeah. Just take a buck for this. I don't even know what that is. That's for the internet. Oh, that's the internet thing? Make wireless, yeah. Super Nintendo? Yeah, take a look at that. So a few of them I won't sell, I know for sure. But <laughs> okay. Like the Contra and stuff like that. Yeah, pull out what you don't want to sell, so I don't even have to look at it. <laughs> that's always how it goes. I'll pick through and I'll be like, these and be like, those are the exact ones I'm going to keep. Yeah. 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 No, these are the ones I'm getting. Yeah, I take a look at any video game stuff you might want to get rid of. Have any other video game stuff at all? Um, so pretty much it's all right here, whatever's left. Yeah, just the the Wii, yeah. the Connect, and then these games here. And yeah, I, I mean, do you have anything like older inside? Do you got like, uh -huh. like Nintendo or Sega or anything like that? No, yeah. Well, my brother took I had my parents' house to yeah. still have my Nintendo and Atari, but yeah. Not, not here. No, yeah, no other systems for sale. What about um, what about an iPod. iPod. Stretch a Polaroid camera? Nope. <laughs> uh, no, just this one. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Um, go for 
bucks on these. They're both four each. Yeah, yeah. these are both like pretty high prices. At this point. Yeah. Um. Think for the two of them. Um. Yeah, that's fine. But that's why I'm saying. See how the sun is going to start to reflect But I'm thinking. Because you know how they. Do they always say don't need to see the sun? That's a massive hours and days. So that means, yeah, that's why I was like. Mm -hmm. But. I think we would be shy about that. I have a game. Is there a system for this, too? For the. DS. Yeah. I might. Games for any original? system you might want to get rid of, actually. Charlene has the original, the first DS that ever came out. Yep. We have gone through so many afterwards that it is broken now. Yep. Charlene's hinges are literally stuck. And it still works as if the day she bought it. Yep. We've gone through the, what, what was the 3D one? DSL 3D or something. Alright, I f stopped filming because I didn't want my phone to die, but uh, I ended up getting a big box of or a big bag of Nintendo games from uh, which I might have recorded before this. Um, nothing like. Um, you know, for the bag. Also paid five bucks for a Game Boy, which is in here? Because I just like trash everything. Yeah, Game Boy Advance SP 001 and uh, some DS and uh, Pokemon Ruby. So, uh, good finds. <laughs> that stuff doesn't get so old. That stuff's in the <laughs> house, yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> I think the only thing we probably do is an old console that we don't use anymore. Uh, original yeah, but Nintendo. That was not, but it's, uh, it's. It wasn't working well. No. It wasn't working well. We wouldn't sell it until we actually tried to fix it, <laughs> to be honest. Cause it's, I would buy it for a okay. Go uh, get it. Yeah. Because we have another one. We bought another one because that wasn't working. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, it's one of, it works, but it's one of the ones you have to. Oh, we had to hit the, the side of it. Yeah, yeah. Give yeah. <laughs> it, it good. And any games you might never play. Uh, <laughs> I'll grab them. Yeah. Well, yeah, because that doesn't. It doesn't go to the other ones. We don't. Ones. We, don't, we got. We we. we got uh, the mini ones. Yeah, we sold out. Got the mini ones. They got like the hundred games out, in yeah. there. <laughs> oh, you got one of like the non-licensed ones. The new ones. things. Yeah. No, no, we got well, one of the. The official their one only has like twenty games. Or uh, well, yeah. So we got a. We have the original Nintendo, which is an unlicensed one, and then we have Super Nintendo, which is the, the minis, official which is the gotcha. official one, which works a lot better. But the other one has like. Way more five games. Japanese yeah. games on it. <laughs> we couldn't. We wanted to have like the legit one, but it just wasn't working. You know, yeah. Blockbuster. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are from that says yeah. original. Then he <laughs> always has two of these. Everyone always has two every time. Well, you get one when you get it. Yeah. And, and they like, always come in every group of games you buy. Yeah. Or like Grandma's like, I thought you didn't have this one. <laughs> The one that comes with it. <laughs> <laughs> Every single one. Uh, this is it for games, though? That's yeah. all we have for games, yeah. Well, because it wouldn't work, so we didn't end up buying anymore. Well, yeah, other it wouldn't sense. work, because we still we did play We did play a, it. A good. Yeah. Once you get it going, it you, would play stay it, on. you play it for, like, you know, two days. Yeah. <laughs> you, just, yeah. you just stay soaked into but it. But it was, like, getting it to, like, hook to the TV, it was just a pain in the butt. Yeah, that's true, because yeah, you have to buy the connector. Yeah. So how much would you want for it? Yeah. With the games? 
Uh, what well, you paid for it, so it's on you. <laughs> I originally paid 50 and got the games, but there was controllers that we were using for something else and the wires, so I'll, I mean, I'll take 30 for it. Yeah, well, you told me it's kind of broke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, true. that's true, that. we didn't know that. You I could buy one online just... for 35 working. Oh, is uh, it? Yeah, with like wires and stuff. I All was right, then. like 15. 15, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. For the game. I mean, we didn't even put it out there. No, we didn't. This is always one of the things where it's like, oh, I'll figure it out. I'd be able to. Yeah, but you'd never do anything with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'll sit until like your grandkids are like, what is this box? Just throw it out. <laughs> <laughs> Does that happen to have any video game stuff at all? We just sold it off yesterday. Yeah, so you got PS3 on there. Do you have anything older? You got like an original Nintendo or Sega? Or? We had the cartridges. I sold them yesterday. You had cartridges? Yeah. Gotcha. Nothing else hiding in the basement, an old Game Boy or anything? Uh, you never know. I haven't been through the attic or the basement. I haven't been through it, gotcha. What about, um, have any like the boxy one? The boxy, yeah. You wouldn't have any of the boxy Polaroid cameras, would you? What kind of you? The like the ones that are like basically a cube, like the 600 style. All I have is right there. Just for, that for right now. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. How much? Um, how much for this one? I don't know what it is. It's a Polaroid camera. Polaroid camera. Oh. So like five bucks. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, wait, come for that. Mike, it really is two dollars. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. Like, oh, 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 Hey everybody, Chris here coming to show you some more yard sale and thrift store finds. I actually did just try to film this on another camera, but the autofocus was driving me insane. 
So, we're just going to redo it right now, and it's going to be great. So before this, there should be footage of some yard sales I went to this weekend. I have not gone through the footage. We'll see what's salvageable. I'll throw in uh, the good stuff. A lot of it, I feel like, will be the ground, just because I was. Uh, it was just on my iPhone. I was just holding it in my hand. I was kind of shifting hands a bunch. I put it in my pocket a bunch, so we'll see. So let's uh, let's just get started. So over here, got a Polaroid talking camera. I paid four dollars a yard sale for that. It came in a case that was kind of disintegrating. I might throw that away. I'm not really sure. Got a Duncan Yo Yo. This might be on there. Uh, paid a buck. I only wanted to pay fifty cents, but the guy was he was just so annoying. So I just gave it to him and left. Uh, this might be on there. I uh, got an Xbox three sixty wireless adapter. I think uh, I think this is on film. The lady showed me the Xbox. It looked trashed, and she's like, "My kids say it works, but it definitely didn't. It definitely would not have worked." I think they had another broken Xbox there as well. But uh, yeah, paid a dollar for that. Still about twenty, thirty bucks. Uh, Savers got a Godzilla hat from the nineteen ninety eight movie. Uh, the one that people say they don't like. I liked it. That's fine. Uh, I think that'll go for about 15. It's a, it's a little weird. I've never seen a, ooh, a little dusty now, too. Uh, I've never seen a hat kind of flop like that, so we'll see. And then here, uh, this should be on film as well. Got a Polaroid SX70. Uh, this is just the, I guess the original one. Uh, so it's a name or something carved in there. Uh, I paid five bucks for that. They didn't know what it was, so that was great for me. Uh, I think they had another Polaroid camera. I didn't even check the number on it. I know this is a rare. It's one of the accordion ones with the uh, plastic fronts. Yeah, I should have checked it, but I didn't because I've just had like six that I haven't been able to get rid of in forever. Uh, and then next we have a Bose uh, acoustic wave system, I think. It's uh, the, got the cassette player, which is junked. Uh, I paid 10 bucks for this. I think it doesn't work. I tried the radio. The radio didn't seem to work. I, didn't even, I think I did bother with the cassette player and it definitely doesn't work. But I didn't try the AV in the back, which I know is a reason a lot of people buy these nowadays. But uh, I think for parts, maybe like maybe 30 to 50, somewhere in there. Uh, right there, very surprised, a Sega Master System. First time I've gotten one of these at a thrift store, I think. I think every other one I've gotten was at a yard sale, and I definitely haven't gotten one for at least f four years, maybe? Maybe even five. Uh, last time I got one was when I got like the giant pile, pile of manuals. I feel like I reference once in a while. I got that and a Sega Master System 2, which is the only time I've ever seen that. But anyway, paid $10 for that at Savers. Didn't have cords, didn't have a controller, but Thankfully, Sega Genesis controller works with it, and Sega Genesis cords for the Model 1 also work with it. So, all set with that. That works great. Probably going to get about a 90 to 100 on that. Got two board games there, Dominion and Seven Wonders. I paid 5 bucks for that at a yard sale. Might be able to see that on the video before. Uh, got Diplomacy at Savers, $2.99. That goes for about 40 now. It's the edition with plastic stars and anchors. I think the last time I got it, it was wooden uh, wooden cubes came with it, I think. Then we got Rook 100th Anniversary Edition. I paid, I believe, $1.99. I think that's going to go for about 15 to 20 Under that is Risk Lord of the Rings Trilogy Edition. That, uh, I believe, I paid... I think I paid $5.99, actually, but I had a $2 off coupon. Um, it didn't have the ring, and it was missing a card. I managed to have a card for my parts copy, but it didn't have the ring, so it's not going to go for as much, because honestly, I think that's half the reason people buy Lord of the Rings stuff anymore, is to play with the ring. Then we have a GameCube. I got that and one of those big PS2s at a yard sale for $40. Uh, the guy also had a Virtual Boy. That might be in the video before. Uh, but he wanted 80, and he ended up telling me it had a broken ribbon cable, so it flashed in and out. So I didn't end up bothering getting it, because I, don't, I didn't want to bother fixing it. He wanted 80, I think they go for about 150. I have, I'm just not experienced with repairing it, so it just didn't make sense. Uh, but I ended up getting those two for 40, he wanted 50 for the two, but I got a little bit off. I asked if he wanted 100 for all three things. 
but he was pretty firm on the Virtual Boy price. Uh, next to that is another fat PS2. I got that at a yard sale uh, for 15 I think that might be on video as well. They wanted 25 came with a bunch of games. Actually, I ended up having cases. Those are the games there. I ended up having casings for, for three of them. So, uh, that was pretty lucky. On top of that, it was a PS2 I got at Savers for, I think it was $24.99. I think I ended up using a 20% off coupon. So, uh, that's already sold for $69. I think it came with Madden or something, so no, no great game with it. Then I got an Xbox 360 right there, and that came with that Wii U right there, which I was very, very surprised to find. I think the video before this will be the first time I've found a Wii U. That one was in much better condition. This one, uh, missing the sensor bar, uh, kind of beat up, kind of dusty on like pretty much every vent on it. I think uh, the kids didn't seem like they took care of any of their stuff. They had a bunch of other games, but most of them were scratched, so I left them. But yeah, I ended up paying 40 for the two of those, plus a few games. I think the Wii U... Uh, I already forget what I sold the other one for. I think I sold it for 200 uh, Maybe more. I can't remember. It was the Mario Land Deluxe set. This one, however... Uh, I'm not sure how much a regular just Wii U goes for. I guess this is also technically a del deluxe model. So I think the regular ones are 4 gigs and they're white, if I remember correctly. I don't think I've ever even seen anyone with a white Wii U. Everyone I know has the black one. But, yeah, I'm guessing probably 150 We'll see. And the Xbox 360 has got a 250 gig hard drive. That will probably go for, I think, about 100 maybe 120 Coming here, we got a TI-83 Plus. That I got, I think I got another TI-83 Plus the same day. Uh, one was $9.99, the other one was $5.99. Sold one already for 30 Price has come down quite a bit on these, I think. They were selling for 45 pretty steadily the last time I had them. But uh, I think because it's the middle of the summer, no one needs them until September. Uh, the, they're just low. I think I might bump this up to like 35 or something. Cause I, I, I could probably wait till September to make an extra 5 bucks. Uh, we'll see. And then uh, we'll jump over to here. The three VCRs. The one on top I got for six ninety nine at Savers. Uh, ended up having a broken door. So I just popped it off. Threw it away. Uh, that and the model under it are the same model. So those both... They'll go for about like 60-ish dollars. Uh, the one under it and the combo player I got at a yard sale for $7 together. It came with remotes, so I actually probably get 75 for the VCR with the remote. Uh, usually a remote adds about 15 20-ish in value because people want a remote. They don't have to get up to turn things off. And then there, got an original Nintendo. I paid... I paid 20? I might have paid 20. I forget, 15 or 20. Uh, I want to say 15, yeah. They wanted 30. Uh, they said it doesn't work. It didn't have any wires or controllers. They said it works, but you have to like really fidget with it. But uh, it's probably just the connector. I can replace that pretty easily. Came with five games. Uh, you know, some okay games, which is why I guess 15 was an okay price. Uh, I probably could have got them to go lower because they did t like basically tell me it didn't work and it didn't have the wires but it's too late like I literally thought about that when I got to the car I'm like I probably could have got it for 10 but it's okay uh, and then I th think yeah we'll just go to these these little things before we get into like these bunch of stacks of games got a uh, DS Lite I think this was at Savers uh, yeah I'll just go with that. I think this was at Savers. I think it was, yeah, it was in the case. It was in a bag. So yeah, it was fourteen ninety nine. Uh, yeah, I got that with the PS Two Slim. So I had a twenty percent off. So you know, cheaper than fourteen ninety nine. And then tax came in. So I'm not even one hundred percent sure how much it was. But uh, I think this is the model that people like is the red and the black. That'll go for I think forty still. 
actually got two of these. I don't know where the other one went. Uh, it's probably in one of the bags, but um, there's an 8 gig iPod Nano. This just sold for 47 or something like that. So I'm going to pack this up after. I bought another one, but it had some cracks along the top. I think that'll go for about 20-ish because of that, but um, I still have to see if it works. Guy told me it works, but they always tell you that it works. And uh, I got a few games here. I think I got these at DR till last weekend. Uh, came with some of the other DS games in that pile. Uh, as well as, actually some like random games. This is some random games. Um, but we got Mario and Luigi's, uh, Bowser's Inside Story, and Sonic the Hedgehog. Those, uh, this will go for about 10. This, I, I got another copy that already sold as well, uh, from somebody else that day. I've been selling them consistently for 950. This will probably go for nine because it doesn't have the case. Uh, and then got a Game Boy Advance. This, I think, came with these games over here. We got, uh, Metabots, uh, Meta B version AX, uh, Pac-Man and Dora the Explorer Super Spies with the manuals. I uh, paid 13 for that. Uh, they said they'd turned down an offer for 15 earlier, but they should have took it because I don't think anyone really wanted to pay more than more than 15 for this stuff. Uh, but yeah, Meta B uh, came in the box. That I'm not sure. I think usually out of box it goes for about 10. In box, maybe 2025. I haven't sold a copy in forever, so I'm just kind of like spitballing what it might be. And the door is worth nothing. Pac Man's probably worth like five to ten. I also got this iPod for a buck at a yard sale where I got these games for five, this for five, and the stack in the back of Nintendo games for ten. While the, there were two kids, they kept going inside to get stuff. The dad just came out with like a bag of Nintendo games. Paid him 10 bucks. A lot of them are really dirty. I didn't really look at what most of them were. The only one I noticed in there was like standalone Mario and Excite Bike. And that's worth like 10 bucks alone. Uh, I think there was also like Dragon Power, but there's a bunch of like kind of whatever games. So I actually haven't really paid attention to what a lot of those stacks of games were when I bought them. So we're going to kind of find out together what some of that stuff is. But anyway, uh, Game Boy Advance SP, five bucks. That uh, it's an AGS zero zero one, so not like the backlit, but the frontlit model. Uh, it goes for about forty five fifty still. Uh, then five bucks. I got Pokemon Ruby. This is supposedly a Pokemon Diamond. She put it in her three DS and told me that's what it was. Uh, I'll definitely have to double check, but it's a bummer that that label's gone. Then we got uh, Super Mario Bros, or new Super Mario Bros, uh, Kirby Superstar Ultra, uh, Sonic Rush, and actually I, th I feel like this came with something else, but uh, Crash and Bang? Crash and Bang? I don't think you may have even heard of that. Uh, but yeah, that was five bucks for those. Then last is this DS. Uh, this I got for 20 with this stack of games. Here is 20 all together. Uh, brother said he had N64 stuff, but he couldn't find it. And then his sister ran in and like, grabbed the DS. She couldn't find the games. I guess they were moving. They packed up most of the stuff before the yard sale, which is kind of strange. But he came out with like this plastic bin that pretty much had nothing in it but the Super Nintendo games. Uh, and then he went back in and got some Xbox One stuff, but I only grabbed one game out of that. So, um, yeah, decent condition. And, uh, yeah, we'll just go through that first, I guess. So, I don't really remember most of the games, but I'm pretty confident I got this on film because they kept going inside. I figured I'd go through them, but we'll go through them again. We got Super Tech, or Tecmo Super Bowl. Uh, Empire Strikes Back. Tecmo Basketball. Sorry that the focus is not great. Um, Spider-Man the X-Men. Super Return of the Jedi. Battle Clash. Uh, Super Star Wars. Turtles in Time. 
every time I find a copy, I think the label's beat up. Uh, but that was great. And then he really wanted to hold on to this. And I was like, do you have more Nintendo games? He's like, no. And I'm like, do you have the system? He's like, no. And I'm like, then why are you holding on to it? He's like, I don't know. Never mind, you can have it. Uh, so we got Contra, which is pretty cool. I think I just sold a manual for this for like five or ten bucks or something. And this is the Xbox 360 game I got, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, which I'm pretty sure I own on PS4, but I literally haven't gone to back to Assassin's Creed in like two years at this point. And I should, really should. But then... So I think... Uh, yeah, th we'll go through this stack. This stack's actually pretty exciting. So this is a mix of Thrift Store and Yard Sale Finds from last weekend. So a lot of this stuff came together, so I'm gonna put those aside for the moment. This is the game that came in one of the PS2s. This was a great find. Lunar 2 Complete was actually missing, so not quite complete, was missing the audio CD and the demo. I guess it came with a demo that originally came with another game, so which is super super weird. It's like they included a demo for the game that you're buying. I don't know, it's super weird. Uh, but this was 30 at Savers. I actually did not have, I think I might have had a $2 off coupon. I think I didn't get the 20% off till the next Savers, which was where I used it for the PS2 and the DS. So, you know, kind of worked out, but, uh, I think this will go for close to 100 because most of the people selling it are only selling disc copies, but the box is a little beat up. It's like falling apart. But a uh, good find there. Same savers. $15. Xeno Gears complete. It's got the manual. This is already sold for $69. Uh, Crash Team Racing. This was only 99 cents at the same savers. It's got a big crack, but otherwise it looks fine. Uh, I would have thought this would be up because they just like redid this game uh, for PS4. Uh, I guess because it's out now that it went down, I'm not really sure. This usually floated around 15. I think it's under 10 now, which is unfortunate. Uh, and then I think the rest of these games came from the same yard sale. Let me just keep going. Yeah, it's fine. They probably all came from the same yard sale. So, whoosh. I think I paid... $30 for this stack. Uh, we got Sonic Rush Adventure, which I'd never heard of. Uh, let's go to these Vita games, because they also came from that yard sale. We got The Walking Dead, go for about 10 to 12. Soul Sacrifice, same thing. And Uncharted Golden Abyss, which I don't know why it has the value that it does. It was one of the games that was free for, I think, five months. It was this and Gravity Rush for free for the first five months that Vita games were included with PlayStation Plus. So this is still like a $40 game, which is how much it was originally, so that's kind of crazy. Uh, then I got Pokemon Ranger. I actually had a case for it there. It was card only. But uh, I think that goes for about 12 still. I got Soul Blade, which I think that's about 15-ish. Uh, this was a game I'd like sort of considered buying. I think I saw it at PAX a few years ago. But, uh, Puzzle and Dragon Z plus Puzzle Dragons Super Mario Edition. Uh, this game actually helped me get it down really cheap. He wanted 20 It had like 20 bucks on it. And I was like, this goes new on Amazon for 15 And you're, it's open. I'm like, and that's the problem with like most of your prices. He's like, oh, okay. So I think he... I think it would have been like 80 bucks, but I think I ended up paying 30 for what was here. Uh, Dragon Quest Monsters Joker 2, which uh, I've like considered playing this. I'm still playing through Dragon Quest Heroes 2 right now. Giant grind to that platinum. One day I'll beat it. Uh, Yoshi's Island DS, I think that just sold for 17. Uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong Mainland Mayhem. This is plummeted in price. I think this is like a 4 or $5 game now. And the Mario Hoops Theory on 3, I think same thing. It's probably about a $5 game. was floating around 12 forever. So that was uh, that was great. That was a great stack of stuff. Um, let's go through these because these aren't too exciting. This is the PS2 games that I got for 15 plus the PS2. 
this I actually just found. I just opened up the system. Uh, and this was the bonus game. So Crash Nitro Card, pretty good game to have for a bonus game. Uh, and then I didn't, I ran out of cases. So we just got Madden, uh, IHR Drag Racing 2. Uh, a couple 360 games. It was just like a Ziploc bag full of games. Uh, 99 Knights, which I'm not sure about that. Gears of War 3. Uh, Tomb Raider for original PlayStation. Uh, NHL 2005. Mafia. Jack 3. Uh, I ended up having a case for this Devil May Cry 3. Same thing, I had a case for this. ATV Off Road Fury 2. And same thing for this Need for Speed Underground 2. And these all have their own cases. So Spider Man 2, Dance Dance Revolution Supernova 2, Need for Speed Underground, Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets, Fight Night Round 2, Dance Dance Revolution Extreme 2, Karaoke Revolution Party, and Tack 2. With a lot of stickers on it. So not bad for 15. I mean, nothing great in there besides Crash, which again, I don't even know how much it's going to go for. Um, and then we'll go through this. This is kind of like a mix of different things. So these are the games I got with the Wii U and the 360. This was just inside. I just found this Indiana Jones, The Original Adventure. Uh, Scribble Knots Unmasked. There was unfortunately no bonus game in the Wii U. They only had one other game for the Wii U as well. I don't even remember what it was, but it was scratched to death. Uh, Minecraft. And uh, they had PS4 games, and she was like, they can't play this. Like, the oldest kid was like eight. She's like, they can't play this here, just take it. So uh, I actually don't have Grand Theft Auto V for PS4. Still only have it for PS3, so I'm going to hold on to that. These are the games that came with the Nintendo there. We got Jurassic Park. We got Jaws. Got Mario Duck Hunt. Got another Mario Duck Hunt, which is actually kind of good because I need to sell a bunch of these Nintendos. I got like six over here, and that makes seven. I need to sell them as action sets because people are not buying them alone. And then uh, Mario 3 with a like, real bad label. And then Savers, I got World War II, Call of Duty, Sealed. I think that was $5.99. That's gonna go for about $20. And then Black Ops 3 Open. It's gonna go for about I think $12 to $15. This game was actually with uh with the DS and um Vita and all that stuff. Star Ocean, The Last Hope. So I actually I rented this copy from the the library like three times over one summer. Never beat it because it's an RPG and it's long, so I'm glad to actually find find a copy and finish it so I'm gonna hold on to that another yard sale I asked if they had games they're like oh we have a GameCube but they wanted to hold on to the system to play SSX Tricky I think they said but they went and they got the games it was mostly crud uh, but I managed to get three games they also had a copy of Mario Party 5 but it had FIFA inside and I had to oh man this sounds familiar but anyway they ended up going to find the case uh, for FIFA, but inside was like a different game, or it was empty, I kind of forget, but they just couldn't find Mario Party 5, it sucked. But I uh, managed to get three games. I kind of forget what the third one was, but I want to say it was... Is it a Mario game? I can't really remember, sorry, but anyway. We got Super Mario Sunshine, and Paper Mario a Thousand Year Door. I ended up paying $3.00 really wish I remember what that third game was. I don't think it was a Mario game. But, uh... Oh, it might have been this. It might have just been Wii Sports Resort. I can't really remember. That's unfortunate, though. Anyway. Uh, actually, I think... Oh, man, I'm all mixed up now. But I think I got this in Wii Sports Resort for, like, $3 at another yard sale. And then... Transfer. Transformers. I think I bought with another copy of Transformers. Yeah, I think I think that case has a different Transformers game, but we got Revenge of the Fallen. I think I paid two dollars for both of them. And then we got Super Mario Galaxy and New Super Mario Bros. They had seven fifty on both of them. 
was like, this is too much. Would you take four for both? And the guy was like, I don't know. What do you think? To the girlfriend. She's like, you sure? Whatever. And then I hand him the $4 and he's like, okay, cool. And then like, as I was getting back in my car, I just hear her say, wait, she wanted, wait, $4 each or $4 for both of them. And then he, the guy was just like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so I was like, okay, good. Cause I always fear that like people are going to come to my car and be like, you know what? No, I want more money. Cause I don't know how to handle, I would not know how to handle that situation besides telling them like, no, but anyway, so $4 for the both of those. Then I paid a buck each for these. I'm not sure if I ended up getting this on film. But we get Crash Nitro Kart, we get Crash Twin Sanity, and we get Crash Tag Team Racing. Uh, they also had, I think, an Avatar game, The Burning Earth, but it was PS2. I know that's a game that's worth money on Xbox 360. I'm not sure about PS2, but when I opened it, it literally looked like somebody had just like taken a hammer to it. Uh, and it was just like, it was destroyed. I had never seen a game that destroyed. But, uh, yeah, this is probably the other Transformers game. Yeah, War for Cybertron. Um, I paid a buck each for those hoping that they would come out with other games. But, uh, the sleeping husband ended up being like, no, I don't want to sell any more stuff. So, uh, didn't end up getting any more stuff. Oh. And then these, I probably shouldn't have even bought these. I paid a buck each. I got a Rayman 3 Hoodlum Havoc, Drak in the Ancient's Gate, and Legacy of Kane Defiance with, like, they, like, printed out the art. It was just funny. Uh, I think, I don't think any of these break $8, but had to buy something. I guess, like, I just missed the Super Nintendo and, like, better PS2 games. Yeah, you know what? We'll go through the stack of Nintendo games, because I think this might have the best games in it. I'm not sure, because again, I, I didn't even really look at these. So this was the $10 stack, which I got with the GBA and some other stuff. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what half of these games are, but anyway, Renegade, Excite Bike, which was one of the few I saw, Gyromite, John Elway's Quarterback, Super Glove Ball, copy I have looks like it was like melted so that's nice uh, River City Ransom I actually think that is a good game I think that's like 15 20 bucks uh, Wrestlemania Mario Bros is one of the ones I noticed pro wrestling this one I saw was like I like showed it to him I was like this is kind of gross like can we go lower and he's like yeah Wizards and Warriors 10 yard fight Tiger Heli one of these I know looks even worse Skater Die RC Pro Am, Rampart, the Triathlon. Oh, Track and Field 2. Um, I think this was the super gross one. Phantom Fighter, which I'd never heard of. No idea the value on this. Yeah, this is the one that looks like it was murdered. Uh, WCW Wrestling, Dragon Power, which if you aren't familiar with, is the first Dragon Ball game. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z. I want to say it's just Dragon Ball, but I don't know, it's going to adult, so whatever. Uh, and then what's the last game? We got WrestleMania Steel Cage Challenge. So yeah, uh, only 10 bucks. I knew Excite Bike and Mario would be worth it, so. And then this, I don't even know if I've mentioned this at all. They were having like a charity yard sale. The only thing I found was the two games on the bottom. There might be footage of all of this actually, but uh, I found these two, I was like, do you have more games, they're like, no, that's it, and I was like, do you have anything old, like, inside, do you have, like, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and she's like, oh, yeah, like, we have stuff like that, kid went inside, I call him a kid, he was probably, like, 22, uh, he went inside, grabbed uh, this stack of stuff, and sent it out with someone else, um, asked if they had, like, Game Boy, blah, blah, blah. They ended up coming back with a Game Boy Advance. I paid a dollar for this. Missing the back, but I have, I have spares. And then I ended up getting this stack for ten. And that's, like, that's what they asked. I asked how much they wanted. They were like, ten bucks. I was like, that's fair. Here you go. So, uh, I think the Super Nintendo games are kind of whatever. I'm just get a WrestleMania, the arcade game. Battleship, oh, uh, Tiny Toons, 
uh, bust loose, a oh, buster busts loose. Uh, I'm not sure how much that goes for. Um, bass fishing, bass tournament ship, eh, whatever, bass fishing, bowling, uh, Othello. The Three Stooges literally did not know this was a game. It's super weird to me that this is a game. Um, I'm hoping it's worth a bunch. Who knows, though. Uh, Dragon Warrior. So that's great. It's a Dragon Quest, for those of you that are unfamiliar. Deadly Towers. Pinball Quest. I think this might be one of those rare games. I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure there's like some... I think there's a pinball game that's rare. Hoping it's this. Not sure. Contra. Batman, which is great. I think this is about 15, 20 bucks. Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest, and Battletoads. That was a game that like I saw in there and was like, oh yeah, like I'll pay at least 25 for this. And they were like 10. I was like, sure. And then uh in the video it looks like Wii Sports Resort, but this was what was inside Wii Sports, and then Animal Crossing City Folk. So that was everything. I was really hoping to get through that faster, but it didn't happen. But, you know, it's okay. I'm going to cut it down a few minutes. And, yeah. So, I'm hoping... I'm hoping I can maybe get that other camera worked out. It just didn't look great when I was doing it. I think I got eight minutes in. The autofocus was just super distracting. So, I think I'm going to need a little practice with that. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. So, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe definitely subscribe i'd like to get back up to like a thousand subscribers to well not back to it i never got there but back over a thousand just because it's just the amount of subscribers you need for youtube to even pay attention to you which is unfortunate but anyway enough of that garble jarble but thanks for watching and uh i'll see everybody next time bye